Apple Bookbuster. This is our Aaron the Bookbuster. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty book, Paper Wishes by Lois Sebastian, an old Sacramento book from 2017. This book, mind you, is well, kind of about paper wishes. I mean, look at the title. It's about a Japanese girl named Manami. And she is being、um, so. This is at World War Two when when Japan and America are at war, and the Japanese people who was living living in America was suspected to be maybe spies or something like that. So they were sent into some kind of prison village, and yeah, it's very bad. It's just it just sucks. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It sucks, and and the girl, the Japanese girl Manami, had to live her very favorite dog, and it is also all just so sad for her that that every day she um for a while she she even sent up like papers that she had drawn drawn something drawn like the dog had that she had lost. The dog were not allowed, you see, to be taken on on the on the on the transporting、um, thing. So it would have been it was she tried to hide her, hide her dog and take it, but she couldn't, and that was just bad, bad, bad. I'm telling you, it was really bad for her. And so she drew her dog on a piece of paper, wrote a promise about good things, and flung it out to the air, just so that her great precious dog would come back. But this is a book about her learning to to, to make do with the things she had.、Uh, she she still had. Forget about her old things and move on with the future. And it's really a great book. So after ja- so it basically she went to the prison village. She was in a rather like sorrow mode basically for a bit of a while, and she even went mute. I'm pretty sure that didn't have didn't that probably. Didn't have to do anything with sickness. It probably did something with her pain or or stress or something like that. I'm pretty sure no one said it's because of influenza or something like that. They didn't say anything about like a disease or anything seriously、like、bad. Just that I'm pretty sure it's sorrow and all that stress building up. It closes up on your throat. At least that's what I think. You gotta think it on your own. Anyway. Then, then she opens. Her mind starts to open when her, when her dad,、uh, when after a while, mind you, her dad brings in a dog. She rejects that dog, and then after another little while, she she brings a new dog that looked looked exactly like her old dog. They named him Seal, and so her mind starts to open, and she she started to forget about her old dog. And move on with the future, and it is truly a book that deserves to be a sacramental, and it already is. And like always, your bookwaster, Erin the bookwaster. Bye bye, my friends. It is a truly awesome book.